Hello and welcome back to Land Rover Toolbox videos. This is the second part about Evans waterless engine cooling. In the first part, we had a look at Evans cooling and what advantages it has over ethylene glycol. In the second part here, we're going to have a look at converting to the waterless system. But first of all, we're going to let you hear what the owner actually thinks. Hi, my name's Ian, this is my Land Rover 90. It's been running Evans waterless coolant now for two weeks, long and short journeys with just general duties. It's performed faultlessly, it warms up quickly, it sits exactly where you'd expect it to on the temperature gauge. Very happy with it, can't fault the product at all. Okay, well this is actually Ian's 90 with a 200 TDI engine. Unfortunately, it's not straightforward and there is a process involved before you put Evans into your system. Basically what's involved is getting your vehicle and draining the fluid out. Before you fit the power cool in, which is this nice amber liquid, you need to be able to prep the engine. This uh, waterless cooling solution is absolutely waterless so it's required that all the fluid, the antifreeze that was in there to be removed. This is done with the prep fluid seen here. This is hydroscopic which will draw out any fluid left in. First of all, the old antifreeze needs to be removed and this can actually be quite a messy job. What we've done here is uh, break a pipe to drain the radiator and we've taken the bung out of the block. To work correctly the prep fluid needs to be uh, heated up to engine temperature with the engine running. If you leave it in there for longer that's fine, apparently that will clear the scale out of older engines and the cooling system. So what Ian's doing here is running it, uh, getting the engine hot, running it about and then afterwards we'll uh, get back and we'll drain the fluid out. Okay, I will say that you don't have to drive on Comp Safari to take advantage of this. This is for longevity. Once it's in there, you can leave it and forget about it. This solution is for any vehicle that has a uh, water system in it. And for proud owners like Ian who look after their vehicle, this is an ideal solution. Okay, so after a long joyride, Ian's actually returned. Just to confirm on his Defender temperature gauge, which isn't the most accurate, it is actually sitting where it should be. So it's back in the workshop, let the engine cool down, and you should know this never work on a hot cooling system, um, otherwise you get scalded. Same process, and what we're doing is making sure we've got as much of this flushing fluid out as possible. Um, this is almost the same as the solution that's going in here, but what we're doing is draining it out as much as we can get out. The prep fluid is actually non-toxic, however if you're going to dispose of this, because it will have antifreeze in it, it needs to go to a waste site which you'll have to contact your uh, local county council about this. We've also got a little bit of cleaning up to do in the pit because it can be a messy job draining out. Okay, so it's a matter of just putting the fresh fluid in and topping it up making sure there's no air in the system. With a radiator, quite commonly there's a bung on the top of it which will let your air out. This is also a convenient way of filling the radiator and the engine up to level quite quickly. Just to get the level a bit higher, using the expansion tank to fill it up. And once it's come to the level at the top of the bung on the radiator, it then can be capped off. Either by socket or in this case an Allen key. Okay, so we've got a level and that will probably need topping up again once the engine's run through. Most important thing supplied with the solution is some stickers telling you not to add any water and this is just a reminder because it doesn't take water. Okay, well the thing is here that your system needs to be in good condition to use this because once it's in you won't need to touch it. It's a solution that is there for a lifetime and they're saying that it's 20 years. The engine will run at normal operating temperature in all conditions, it doesn't boil and the hoses will be soft since there's very little pressure in the system. The bonus of not having much pressure in the system means that it takes the strain off components. Ian's vehicle recently has had a new radiator fitted. The hoses are in good condition as well since they were changed for the 200 TDI conversion. He won't need to touch this for a long time. So once there's in, there's all you have to do is just leave it. Now I won't ever have to change my antifreeze again. In the first case you want to be looking at paddock spares and accessories since they are a stockist in the UK and a mail order. For those who are a bit further away from the UK there is also a global stockist finder so check it out. <laughs> 